Hello, welcome back. This is Craig. I'm going to talk today about the Red Eye tool. It's a nice tool that makes quick work of Red Eye problems. Not as big of an issue in today's uh, modern kind of SLR cameras. They typically send out that little flash of light before the flash or before the shutter flashes um, to get rid of Red Eye. But sometimes you'll have some older photos. Um, this was taken with an older digital camera. Um, that has quite a bit of red eye. I thought this was an excellent candidate to show how to um, get rid of this. So if we go under your healing tools, um, the fifth one down is the red eye tool in Photoshop. So what we do is we'll zoom in here. We'll take this little boy's eyes first. And if you remember your anatomy class from high school or college, um, the center part of your eye is your pupil. The out, outer part of that is uh, the colored part, which is your iris. And what we want to do is we want to keep the catch light, which is the little white lights, um, gives a, an eye a lot of depth, dimension, and life. But we want to take this and make the red part black. So what I traditionally do is I'll set the pupil size to 100, 100, um, and the darken amount to about 75. Put my target right in the center of the pupil, hold down my option key so I can draw out from the center and make my box as big as the iris. And when I release, it fills in that red part, keeping the catch light and um, making the eye look much better. I also held down my shift key to get a square. So let's come over here. We'll find the center of the pupil. That's the red part. Hold down the Option key and the Shift key. Pull out until we hit the edge of the iris. Release. And now as we zoom out, we find that looks uh, much, much better. Let's do this little girls here as well. Go to the center of the pupil. Hold down Option, Shift. Pull out until you reach the edge of the iris and release. I notice this makes the pupil sometimes just a little bit larger, which is a good thing. Research has shown that uh, larger pupils um, make for a friendlier person. I will notice sometimes in uh, magazines they'll take the irises of models and enlarge them quite a bit. Um, they do it in kids, they'll do it, you see in some of your children's animated movies, if they want to show a really, really cute kitten or a cute bunny, um, the pupils are just massive and not a lot of iris. Okay, so I go to the center again of the pupil, hold down Option and Shift, drag out. If I do get off track with this, I can move it by holding down my space bar too. So that should be good. And then as I zoom out, these two kids look much better and their red eye is gone. Thank you very much. That's the red eye tool in Photoshop. I hope that helps.